Hello everyone, welcome back to the Honda Civic build where we're doing a K-Swap K24A3 is going into my 95 EG5 Honda Civic. So on this episode we're moving back onto the engine finally. We're fitting some basic accessories back onto the engine and then we're fitting some turbo parts as well. So for example, we're going to be fitting this, we're going to be fitting this AC compressor and power steering pulley eliminator bracket kit. So it relocates the alternator down to the very bottom where the AC compressor originally was. Then after that we got this turbo return bracket. We also got a new VTEC actuator as well as the old one was in pretty bad condition on the outside and I just wanted to get a brand new one from Max Speeding Rods. Also if you're new here please like and subscribe and drop a comment if you got any questions I'd love to answer them so yeah. So this is what the kit consists of. They give you a brand new ribbed belt, got a number here so you can always go back and buy another one. So they give you two pulleys, one goes on your alternator coupling I believe it's this one and then this is your idler pulley with a bearing pressed in there with a circlip so if you need to replace the bearing later on you can just get the circle about and push it out they also give you the appropriate hardware and some spacers they give you two brackets for it they give you this beautiful aluminium billet piece and this is for the adjustment then you have this adjustable rod and this spacer so obviously you have to throw this idler away okay to start out with you'll need this bracket here up next you grab this spacer thing with the hole through it and the thread on the end and have it pointing towards this hole just here obviously it fits in there nice and flush as well so just drop that in there so they're pointing the same way. Then up next, you want to get your threaded rod, and your, which is your adjustment for the height of the idler, or like the tension. And you just want to gently thread that through for now. And you have that sliding action. Up next, you want to grab your idler spacer, and it has the little square uprising on it. And that only fits on this side and it fits nice and flush like barely any movement then up next you want to actually get this washer here it's got like a slight lip on it as well and that will sit on the inside the eye like that and now you want to grab the only hex head bolt that's this long and you want to put that through and then pretty much just join everything that we've just done then you've got the first bit done and organized then next you want to line this up just there so obviously to get that to work you're going to have to put in the provided spaces but it really depends on what engine you have i found a spacer that will fit up next they give you a few different bolt choices depending on the model i believe i'm going to be using the shorter one i've tried the longer one and it just bottoms out just before it actually fully tightens up for the bottom bolt you're going to be using the smallest allen key now it's on there nice and tight we can start fitting the upper and the lower bracket up next is actually fitting the bottom bracket and it will go on the block just like that just next to the sub you'll need to use these two six mil spacers for these two bolt holes as this lump right here on the block gets in the way the hardware for this bottom bracket is actually two stainless steel bolts here and their allen key head so i finally put the bracket on you can see i've got the two spacers in there to avoid that lump on the block up next is putting on the top bracket so for this top bracket you'll need a small allen key stainless steel bolt again then to mount the other side of the bracket you'll need the longest galvanized bolt so now the upper brackets on I've only put in this small allen key bolt the large bolt goes in with the alternator as it sits there Come on. So what I've just realized is you're actually going to need spaces to go in between here and here just to get the alternator to sit on there good. So now fitting the alternator, I've gone ahead and used the longest bolt like I said before. I've used the next smaller spacer. I've had to just file it down just a little bit just to get it fit. So I think when they painted these, they didn't allow for that tolerance. But that's the only downside so far. Now I'm on to putting in the bottom bolts and you got to have the biggest washer. And then you're going to want to use this kind of bolt with the allen key head on it again and then the two flange nuts on the bottom as of right now i can't put this new coupler on it's a smaller size than the big one which is originally on there so i'm gonna have to do that another time that's why i've left the belt loose but this is pretty much your final product with this relocation kit of the alternator it moves it just above the sump so happy with this thing it actually looks really good While we got time in this episode, I'm going to be fitting this billet oil return line from my turbo. It goes right where that black patch is on the front cover. 
And that's it on now. It's very hard to show on camera as I struggled a lot because the seal they gave me wasn't quite adequate, but this thing was very cheap. I've got an AN10 to go on there and I'm very happy with that. Hopefully it doesn't leak. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video and it did help, please like, comment and subscribe and, and I'll see you guys in the next one.